Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle are set for a major Hollywood revival as they don't need royals anymore, claims one royal author. The claim comes amid fevered speculation that the Sussexes are finally making inroads into Hollywood after various snags along the way. In June, it was revealed Meghan's short-lived podcast. Archetypes had been nixed and the couple's Spotify deal had been dissolved, on the same time. South Park and Family Guy. Lampoon the couple, crystallizing the view that Hollywood was down on the Montecito pair. It's now being said that. Harry and Meghan are inundated with offers from Tinseltown. So, what should one believe? Royal author Clive Irving comes down more on the side of it's true rather than false. He explained, I think it's true. They don't need the royals anymore. They have got their own business and brand established. They don't need to bother with the royals anymore. This transition has been a long time coming. Harry and Meghan stepped down as working royals in 2020 to pursue a career outside of the monarchy. The couple have now completed their rebranding. According to Irving, Harry and Meghan's celebrity used to rest on the former's connection to royal family. But they've now been celebrities in their own right for so long that they don't need to trade on that anymore. That's no longer part of their lives. Indeed, it is now being reported that they've recently had a wave of offers coming in from Hollywood. And sources say their marriage is stronger than ever. Harry and Meghan are in extremely high demand, an insider revealed. The source claims. The pair is being requested for speaking engagements, business collaborations and entertainment gigs. For months now this has seemed like the direction of travel for the Sussexes. In June, insiders claimed Harry and Meghan have decided to stop making tell-all Netflix documentaries, publishing memoirs and sitting down for interviews that focus on the firm. And a few months later it emerged that the couple had bought the movie rights to Meet Me at the Lake by Corley Fortune for upwards of £3 million.